It's gonna get a little muddy over here. But you can wash your feet off in the creek, I guess. Phew. Well, we're right here at the put-in spot. Just gonna float down, get on some big bass. Well, we're in the creek. Just gotta paddle down this a little ways. I'll let my dad go in front of me so he can clear out all the spiders. <laughs> oh, I'm wrong for that. That's so right. Alrighty, everybody welcome back to the georgia bassmaster channel as you can tell super foggy morning out here this morning i got my dad right over there if you can see him in his kayak and uh yeah we're gonna be throwing top water hopefully get on some big fish this morning we're in a great location if you're new to the channel click that subscribe button <sighs> hopefully we can get a big one on the whopper flopper and uh without any further ado i want to go ahead and not waste my time talking right now i'll check back with you guys in a minute but i want to go ahead and get to casting it's prime catching time right now let's get to it okay let's go ahead and Drop this pedal drive down in there. All right. I'm not even gonna lock it because I want it to be able to um, fall if it needs to. Okay. Right over here by this tree, I've caught some big ones. Don't chatterbait. <laughs> Four or five pounder already. Well, first fish of the day, I'm gonna say over four. I thought I brought my scale. If I say over four, I don't have a scale for you guys. Somebody will call me a liar. And of course, the battery ain't working. Ain't that or something? Okay. Units, kilogram. A four three. Four three. Pretty good starter fish. Four three guys, first fish in the morning. That's what I'm talking about. All right. See you girl. Oh. All right. That's what I'm talking about back this boat up there's a lot of six and sevens in here though a lot of them well we may not have caught any more since the last one i'm telling you guys i'm in a hot spot for a big one i don't get no normally a lot of bites in this little pocket but they're normally good and fat here fishy 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 i got the whopper plopper for you i know y'all want it well, I gotta go below the dam at least once. 
Get a couple casts. Might get lucky. Maybe not though. Slid all the way down. Oh. Oh. Ow. oh man. Okay. Ow. Straight road rash on my hands, guys. They're bleeding. <laughs> I had to save my life though. I can't get up this thing. Ugh. All right, we're gonna have to run. Gonna have to run for it. You ready, guys? One, two, three. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, man. Ah, well, never doing that again. That was literally scary. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Man. Mm. I feel like a dummy, man. I was juggling my rod in my hand. That was a giant. Uh, that thing probably wouldn't bite again. Well, uh, I'm a little traumatized, not going to lie, sliding down that waterfall. Oh man, I thought I was going to slide all the way to the bottom, get sucked down into those rapids or something. I don't know, but my hands are rashed up. They finally stopped bleeding, but man, they hurt. I literally have road rash on my hands. Missed a couple of big fish, like some five six seven pounders today i just didn't just didn't hook them but uh yeah about to start worm fishing here in a second so let's get to it all right so the sun is officially out the sun is up there and the shade line is against this bank right here and this time of year in the summer you especially have to pay attention to that so we're going to load up and go over here and fish under the shade line for a little bit a little while and uh yeah we'll see you guys over there Especially here at the shade line. It's gonna be like 10 degrees cooler. These fish know it, I know it. It's where you wanna be in the summertime right here. Don't wanna be out there in that bright sunshine if you don't have to be. Every little pocket of shade is an opportunity. That's a fish. Oh man, that was garbage. Had a fish on and my drag was too loose. Mistake I won't make twice. A few moments later. That's a fish. That's a big and tail. Oh, it come off. That gummit. That gummit. Oh. 
I'm putting my drag even tighter. I'm putting my drag even tighter, guys. I've caught a bunch right through here before. I don't know. I don't, yeah, it's deep over here. I don't know why they're not biting or if they're just not in here. Ah. <laughs> Just got one out there. Little rascal. I just caught one right here. Yeah. Oh, I got off. <laughs> Little booger. There's some fish right there below that shoal. Oh, I just had another one. All right, look. All right, then. I guess we'll pack it up. All right, guys, I apologize for the lack of fish catches in this video because I hung a bunch of them, hung some big ones. But I uh, figured I'd show you guys what a crazy day for me is like. I almost died. That's actually pretty dangerous sliding down that thing because, uh, you know, like if you're by yourself kayaking, you could hit your head, slide down there and drown or something like that. So it's always best to have someone with you guys and uh, not to do anything dangerous like me. Always be careful of slip, trips, falls, snakes, spiders. You never know out here fishing. It's more dangerous than people count it for a lot of the time. So gonna have some more boat build videos coming soon. I'm supposed to go over there next weekend and start working on it. So should have a series coming out for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy that. Until the next time, see you guys later. Peace.